One of the interesting things to me about, one of many interesting things to me about the diminished mode is that it is a very dissonant mode, therefore it creates tension in the listener. So I really like to use uh, that mode to keep my listener's attention uh, when I'm performing. Uh, I love the way it sounds. It's got that, uh, what is it, uh, scary, beautiful kind of a sound to it. Um, so a lot of times I'll incorporate a diminished idea and it's something that I would typically do uh, in just a jam type of a situation. Um, let me give you an example. I'll take the blues scale, very common, with the blue notes added in. And then on the flat five of that scale, I'll do a diminished arpeggio. So I wind up with a lick like... A lot of times, too, um, I'll take that same idea. Another unique quality of the diminished uh, mode is that it can be moved every three frets, it, and every three frets it repeats itself. That's called uh, the equidistant quality, E-Q-U-I distant. So if I go back to that same arpeggio I was using with the blue scale, and I take the guts of it, about three frets, another three frets, and then wherever I end up, I'll just go back to the blue scale. Many times I'll play the blue scale, go into that arpeggio, and then come back out into uh, another position of the blue scale, like so. Okay, so uh, I just took that same little equidistant idea and moved up every three frets. When I got to a certain position where I decided to bail on the arpeggio. I just jumped back into uh, a pentatonic scale, blues scale, in that different position in, in the same key, which in that case was G minor. Now, let's talk about the augmented mode. Uh, the augmented mode is similar to diminished in that it also has the equidistant quality meaning it repeats itself every so many frets. In, in the diminished, it was every minor third or every three frets. In the augmented, uh, it's every major third or every four frets. Uh, that chord or arpeggio uh, will repeat itself. Uh, I like to use the augmented chord especially uh, over a five. If I'm soloing in a key and I know I'm going to the five chord, especially at a cadence point, I will uh, incorporate the uh, augmented mode over that five chord. Let me give you an example. I'll go back to G and uh, instead of going to the flat five diminished, I'll just go to the five. And when I get there, I'll play something augmented like so. Notice that between each note there is a major third or four frets. It's a great place to use that uh, 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 augmented arpeggio and resolve back to the one. I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's go on to an arpeggio section here uh, in this guitar lesson. Uh, and let's start out with major arpeggios, minor arpeggios, diminished and augmented.